The end was never our creation. It was there all this time. All we did was tempt it. The same way a surfer tempts fate. Or tempts a shark by trying to outswim it. <laughs> a for effort. We crafted spears against beasts, built walls against spears, ladders against walls, and towers against ladders. After that, we built boats, ramparts, chimneys, shaving foam pie catapults, and when all our trash threatened to swallow even our highest spires, we built... a spaceship. Powered by nothing less than the destruction of our own planet. The preparations took decades. What was meant to be an ark became a home. My home, Elysium. None of us ever thought there were thousands of clueless survivors down in that trash. How Bastion of Hope became a herald of doom for Deponia. Fortunately, the tables turned. One of those clueless people foiled the plan. <laughs> He saved Deponia and all who were left behind. And he saved me by falling for me. Literally. The end. Oh! Oh, you don't like this ending? Still hoping for something more... upbeat? Well, it's like I said. Endings and sharks. Don't tempt them. Though... I gotta admit, even after all this time, I, I keep asking myself, if I was able to turn back time, what would I change? What would be the better ending? Or do I just want it to never end? This place was pure hell. <laughs> Who am I kidding? Where was it these days? I had to leave old Jeremiah behind. His own damn fault. I have to give it to him. He was as fast as they came at changing a tire. But he was too damn slow at getting me a slushy. At least we shook those ravening few bucks. <laughs> Edward Snowman was no beauty. It was all I had left. Even the box with the emergency blowtorch was frozen shut. Pretty damn ironic. The Edward Snowman was a bit of <laughs> Some punk had sprayed no hope on blast our door. <laughs> Tell me something I don't know.
The Organon had sealed the door to the blast tower. As if to say, if anyone is going to blow this planet to hell, then it's going to be us. What a joke. The bolt didn't look like you could saw through it, but I got this far and I was going to finish it to the end. Simultaneously release the bomb clamps in countless blast towers all over Deponia. Yeah, huh. guess that's it. The end of the <coughs> frog in my throat. The end of the road for me. Like the thing is not dead and didn't run into a brick wall and fulfilled already. Let me help you fill that gap in memory. Living in the waste wasn't to your taste, but soon you will gaze true straight in the face. All rivers run eventually to the sea. At the sage, it's evident there will be no happy end. Suck it up, princess. No one cares for your tears. It's over, and I've no dance to give for second thoughts that you're stuck with. Looking for loopholes and wondering what if.
Ah, ah, oh, oh. Uh, uh, oh. What a nightmare. I was old. I had a mustache. All my friends were dead, and the Lysium had fallen from the sky. Also, I blew the pony up. Talk about sick. I mean, a mustache? Really? Ah, luckily, everything's the way it was before. I can hardly wait to tell my sweet Tony about it. Huh, the fire's gone out. No wonder I was dreaming about this here winter. Huh, the fire's gone out. No wonder I was... Bubble wrap from the post office. What was I going to do with it again? Yeah, whatever. I'll just leave it here until I remember what I wanted it for. Don't look. Otherwise, it'll keep me from working for days. Again. Sweet! The balloon filled with gas while I slept. Now, all I have to do is adjust the flame, and then it's to Elysium and beyond! Tony won't believe her eyes. <laughs> I better get her crystal glasses back. Not that anything would happen to them. Time to get to work. No, stop! This seems vaguely familiar somehow. That's exactly the way things happened in my dream. I had forgotten the bubble wrap, and that's when everything went to pieces. Tony was so angry that we broke up. And then I uncovered an organon conspiracy and started a revolution? Well, note to self, stay away from sampling the adhesives before bed. These visions aren't all bad. I should become a prophet. Nina, Nina, let me through. I'm a prophet. <laughs> huh? Hey, stop! You can't park here. You. Oh boy. Somehow my vision missed this. That car obviously belongs to a tinkerer, too. And tinkerers don't play with each other's brake hoses. The risk of getting caught is just too great. Hey, you. Hello? You can't park here. <laughs> hey, you there. Is this your pile of junk? Please keep away from it. And from me too, for that matter. I'm not even meant to be here. Oh yeah? Well, I couldn't agree more. But since you're here... What have you done? I'm not allowed to talk about that. It's... One minute. What did I just do? You destroyed my girlfriend's glasses when you parked! Heavens to Betsy! Do you know what that means? I have possibly triggered a catastrophe of apocalyptic proportions! Yeah, but she usually calms down after a couple of days. You misunderstand me. I'm talking about ash rain, magma flows, perpetual darkness. Yeah, that sounds about right. You've met Tony. Got it. But that doesn't make those glasses whole again. You're right. I must do something. After all, you're the one who ruined them. Let me think. Think faster. There's one possibility, but it would be very dangerous. Yikes! You don't mean... Yes, there's no choice. Don't be a fool. There must be another solution. If there is, I can't think of it. I fear my decision is final. I will... No! Turn back time. No! You... What? Oh. I thought you wanted to apologize, but your suggestion sounds better. Good thinking. Bravo. Uh, perhaps you didn't understand me correctly. I said that I'm going to travel back in time. Yep, go ahead. Super plan. But you aren't surprised at all? You must have a million questions, surely. Oh. Uh, okay. What happened to no contact? Well, it's a bit late for that now. The unspeakable has occurred, but we can make it unoccur 
If we follow my plan... Bring rubber boots back into fashion? Nonsense. I mean... Turn back time. Say, do you keep hearing that strange sound, too? What's the square root of 237169? 487. But I actually meant another sort of question. One where the solution isn't so obvious, I know. Who are you, anyway? My name is McChronicle. I work at Junk Trade University in Porto Rustica. You're a professor? Of what? Stupid hats? My area of expertise is temporal physics. I'm researching anomalies in the fourth axis of space-time. Really? Then you can probably answer a time-related question for me. Very possibly. When, dear Mr. McComicon? Yes? When? When did I ask you for your life story? What are you doing there, anyway? I'm looking for time anomalies. Well, you found one. I don't want to brag, but I'm almost a singularity myself. My display begs to differ. Naturally. I'm talking about a time split. That's serious. It's like a split end. In time. Well, my hair is healthy and vigorous. The quantum foam is almost boiling. Something terrible has happened, and it might repeat itself in perpetuity. <laughs> you sound like my girlfriend, Tony. Well, what do you mean, turn back time? As I said, I have invented a device which can avoid accidents after they've happened. It saves an image of the space-time before our reverse park. You invented a time machine and used it as a parking assistant? You, Macrona Crispies, are a four-dimensional wuss. Actually, I really shouldn't be using it. Just imagine if this technology were to get into irresponsible hands. Yes, that would be bad. Where do I turn this thing on? I should never have come here. A mistake easy to correct. By my turning this crank here? No! Wait! <laughs> Nina, Nina, let me through! I'm a prophet! <laughs> huh? What's this little itch on my fontanelle? Could it be the synaptic sensation of my remembering things that haven't happened yet? Yoo-hoo, Mr. Rufus! Huh? What? Wait a minute, I know you. You're Mr. McCromnickel. McCronical. But that means you remember? You bet I remember. You're the one who ran over the glasses. Astounding. Not half as astounding as your lousy face furniture. But while we're on the topic of astounding, how the hell is all this possible? Let's talk about that in a minute. Could you help me to park first, please? I don't want to repeat performance of that little episode just now. Not just now. You mean soon? No. It would have been just now, right now. Oh, great. This could turn out to be another one of those days. You ready? Sure. What the hell? Hit it! Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Stop! You sure? I don't think I'm positioned quite right yet. Is there not a bit more room there? Still lots of room. You hardly moved. Then why are you shouting stop? Yeah, come on. Come on. Yeah, that's it. That's it. That's come on. Come on. Come on. Ha! What? Didn't I just see an elephant? Something strange is going on here. Huh? What? Oh no, not again! These cryptic signs have been becoming more and more common lately, and for some reason, they always seem to crop up around me. You hear that talk? Never ever again. Oh, who am I kidding? Everything comes back eventually. And there we go. Everyone in position, and then, just as we practiced, 
I don't want to see any naked flames near Rufus. May Tetanus be with us. My prophetic dreams can oracle away all they want. I will never, ever grow a mustache. If he would just play with more feeling and less saliva, he could maybe relax during the breaks. What's going on? Why aren't you playing? We haven't learned that song off by heart yet. And without light, we can't see the music. Then why not play something you know by heart? Hmm. I think I can come up with something. Our hit, Rudy's Dental Work Went Wrong. <laughs> oh, please don't. I've already had to put up with that howling long enough. Still, much better than having to gaze at your mug all day. Hey! Do you think that I suffer from ear potatoes? Hello, stranger. New in town? But Rufus, I attend the Barbecue Thursday Festival every year. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Right, and your name is... Zune, current grill champion from Sierra Benzoli. Sierra Benzoli? Well, I always thought that place only had three inhabitants. It, which doesn't mean that the title wasn't hotly contested. Fuego and Petro are also very skilled in handling methylated spirits. Shame that they weren't able to compete this year. Let me guess, an accident at work? Let's just say they should have made the shish kebabs with much more shish and a lot less kebab. Do you know how to catch an elephant? Of course. Why do you think I've got an elephant gun back there? I thought it was to show off. Uh, that too. But elephant hunting is a great tradition for us. It goes back to the days when Hannigal and Hunnigus both got the idea of riding over the Amalgalps. I thought they were only looking for fillings for tusks. Which probably didn't make the meeting of their armies any less bloody. <laughs> As you probably know, there's nothing more dangerous than an elephant with a toothache. Can I borrow your elephant gun? No, I only loan it out to other big game hunters. I happen to be a big game hunter. Ha! <laughs> if you were a big game hunter, then you would know that elephants are child's play. Much too easy to hit. Professionals hunt small animals. Ducks! Or rats. A gun like this won't do for them. You need something like a high-precision blowpipe for that. Much more precise. Unfortunately, I'm clean out of darts. And blowpipes. And bees for the nerve poison. Can you build me a high-precision blowpipe? Depends. Are you a licensed big game hunter yet? Uh, yes. Then show me your license or take a hike. There's an elephant in the area. <laughs> I'll only believe that when I see it. Well, he's very good at hiding. Not exactly typical for an elephant. You sure that you don't mean a wombat or a groundhog? Yeah, I think I would know the difference. Quite a few people think that, and you end up having to collect them from the circus with wombat bites. Oh, poor Uncle Diego. Why don't you just let these guys play their hit? Because those pains in the neck have been hacking away at it all day. Or because he's a fully qualified provincial hick. I heard that! Oh! He heard that! <laughs> but play him quality music, and that ape suddenly can't hear a thing! Hey! Do you think that I suffer from ear potatoes? Oh, I thought that was common knowledge. You know what they say, the slowest farmer grows the biggest potatoes. <laughs> What's all this nonsense with the lights and the barbecues? It's what they call Barbecue Thursday. I'm talking about you guys always turning off both whenever I get close. Oh, that's perfectly normal. Fire prevention measures. Don't worry about it. I wasn't planning on it. So, what's tasty today? What do you think? Barbecue Thursday is Groundhog Day. Wasn't Rampage Monday always Groundhog Day? No, Barbecue Thursday, I'm quite sure. Huh, well, I'll pass, just the same. I'm just not big on leftover plot ID. Uh, Groundhog. Well then, bye barbecue. Yeah, whatever. Can I borrow your elephant gun? No, I only loan it out to other big game hunters. I happen to be a big game hunter. Ha! <laughs> If you were a big, much too professional, a gun, you need some much more unfortunate and, and be. Ah, the poor little rat boy can't even afford proper clothes. My parents say that Sleek Slate is on vogue for the coming autumn season. <laughs> so brave.
that's either my old sidekick Wenzel or a talking jack-o'-lantern. Wenzel, is that you? I thought you were a jack-o'-lantern, honest. Very funny, but great to see that you decided to join in with Barbecue Thursday after all. The hell I did. I'm just here to pick Tony up. Oh yes, the balloon. Have you really thought that one through? I know. A week in a confined space with her might make me suicidal, but I'm pretty sure it wouldn't be good for our relationship if I left the planet without her. I just meant whether you're sure about going through with the whole thing. You've split once before. If the plan fails again, you could break more than just the altimeter, or your nose, or the roof of the kindergarten. Don't worry, little man. This time, I've thought of everything. I didn't even bother to install an altimeter, for example. Tony trusts me, and rightly so. You'll see. My name is Leonardo Alfonso Miguel Garcia de... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rat Boy works. No one can remember all that nonsense. Nonsense? My name has won prizes. Rat, 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 rat. He's the Rat Boy. Uh, why is everyone so mean to me? <laughs> Aren't you allowed to play with the other rats? If, if, if you mean the rotten fruit game, I'd love to, but I'm still too young. That's right, Rufus. The rotten fruit game can only be played by adults. Did I step in a cricket nest or something? I keep hearing this chirruping from somewhere around my ankle. Huh. The last bees in the southern quadrant at a barbecue Thursday celebration near you for the last 20 years. If this keeps up, humanity will die out before the bees. Ouch! That cursed tuber is still glowing hot. I'll have to cool it down somehow. Then explain it to me again. What exactly do you see in that fool? Huh? Rufus, he's not the right man for you. Is he even a man? Huh? I'd say he's more a complete loser. Shut your trap, Lotto. Nah, he's got no job, no manners. And the biggest thing he hasn't got, a future. I'm warning you, Lotto, don't diss my friend. Ah, oh, come on, Tony. Do you really trust in that good for nothing? You heard Tony, Lotto. Leave her in peace. No, I want to know. Do you really believe he's going to get you two to Elysium? Huh? You're more likely to see me in a dress. <laughs> For the last time, Lotto, shut your mouth. You could have the pick of anyone, Tony. If only you'd open your eyes, you would see this. This here is a man, a real man. Lotto, please. A manly, beardy man. The furniture is brand new. How about it? You want to touch my beard, huh? Chickadee, chickadee. Uh, funny, I have this twinge in my leg. I wonder if that means we're going to have a storm. Lotto, what happened to you? You can... You can... You can call me Lottie from now on. Hey, Lotto. Call me... <coughs> call me Lottie. <laughs> who did this to you? What do you mean, who did this to you? I feel completely... Liberated! It's as if I've been trapped in an ugly great cocoon of ice for years. And now, I've finally melted and been reborn as a beautiful... Blue whale. Butterfly! <laughs> Butterfly! <laughs> That's exactly what I meant to say.
So you're really a lady now? Why? What's... <coughs> what? What's wrong with that? Did I say there was anything wrong with that? On the contrary, congratulations on this bold step. You know, to be honest, I've always had the feeling there was a great woman somewhere inside of you. You calling me fat? What? No! Oh, sorry. I just feel so insecure. This is such a big step into the unknown. Don't worry. Big steps have always been your trademark. Hey, it'll be totally awesome if... Oh, it would be... Totally awfully sweet of you if you gave me a leg up with an honest evaluation. Sure, as long as it's not a leg over. <laughs> <laughs> so, is there anything about the new me that could do with improving? Uh, let me think. You don't have a bust. Rufus! Control those wandering eyes! It's very... Unbecoming! Could be, but where would Lotto have looked? Put your hand on your heart and tell me it's not half a dirty turnip too close. Mm. You're right. Maybe I should... Remove the underwire from my manly men's corset. By being constricted by this... Symbol of androcracy for long enough! <coughs> Here, be a sweetheart. And get this thing out of my sight! Is there anything else? I think you're fine the way you are. Oh, you charmer. Right. Later, Gator. Uh, 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 oh, <laughs> I meant, of course, uh, my deepest respect, ma'am. Toodle I'll just leave that right where it is. No matter how hard I try, I can't imagine any situation whatsoever where I could find a use for this crap. Hey, keep your hands off. Those are the darts championship winnings. A darts competition? Oh, man. I have to enter. Please be careful. I lost two of my best customers the last time you played darts. Hey, Rufus. Hey, Lonzo. Same as usual? Quite the contrary. I want something new, something else, something exciting. Uh, you're out of luck there. I've only got the same as always, Nat's piece. Uh, then why do you even ask? Well, normally people only ever want what they already know. Huh. Ordinary people, maybe, but I'm having none of that. Not me! You hear me? Not me! Hi there, Snuggle Bunny. What did we agree? That uh, she's a choleric little viper with a delectable derriere? I was trying to make the point that I didn't want you giving me a pet name. However, good answer. Do you have any idea what happened to Lotto? Let's just say he went a step too far. Yeah, I keep saying that kind of thing can end up badly, but you still insist that I take out the garbage. I meant that figuratively. What? Uh, wait, that was you? Why? He said some ugly things. Ugly duckling ugly or your mama ugly? <gasps> I'm beginning to think I hit the wrong one. I have got to tell you about my dream. Can't that wait until after we've left? Uh, well, maybe so. But it was totally awesome. We broke up. Yeah. I often dream that, too. At last! A week without the kitchen going up in flames. Well, it wasn't quite like that. Somehow, I was still living with you. Oh, so more like a nightmare. The Organon wanted to blow Deponia to bits, but I sure showed them where the Wombat's teats hang. Hmm, perhaps it's some kind of expression of repressed self-loathing. I'm just saying that because you always end up blowing everything up. Self-loathing? Don't be silly! I'm great! Although, 
It is somewhat surprising that in my dream, all of the Organon were clones of me. No further questions, Your Honor. I met an Elysium, a real orbit pixie. Are you getting back at me for dreaming about Cowboy Dodo? You dream about Cowboy Dodo? Every woman dreams of Cowboy Dodo. I think he was in my dream, too. Do I need to be worried, then? It wasn't that kind of dream. Quite the opposite. I really gave him a pounding. Oh. Huh? I had almost made it to Elysium. But then your human love went and got in the way. You always say that when your plans fail. But this time it really was like that. You mean in your dream? Oh, yeah, sorry. It was just all so realistic. So the next time you aren't quite sure, if one of your plans appears to be realistic, it's highly likely to be just a dream. In the end, I sacrificed my life to save Deponia. <laughs> you, of all people. Why not? Do I need to remind you that I donated my lymphatic system for medical research? That doesn't count. They only want it so they can work out how you got the spaghetti in there. Also, you hardly did it out of the milk of human kindness. You did it for a subscription to Surgeons Weekly. I only read it for the articles. Honest. At the end, I was old. And there was snow everywhere. I thought you had sacrificed yourself. True, it somehow doesn't fit. I must have survived. But at what price? Everything was so hopelessly broken that I finally blew Deponia to smithereens. That must have been by far the longest, sickest nightmare in history. Mm, I don't know. We've been together a while now, haven't we? Oh, you've never understood any of my dreams. The more you tell me, the prouder I am of that fact. About your crystal glasses. Oh yeah, I gotta pack those as well. Did you get the bubble wrap? Well, yeah, but... But? The glasses broke. <laughs> I know you're only kidding, because you know that our relationship is dependent on those glasses, as well as your ability to drink. Without a straw. <laughs> right. Gotcha. Yeah, it, it, it was a joke. A, a funny, funny... Not funny. Absolutely, totally not at all funny joke. Right. I totally forgot I wanted to make room for the glasses. Just sit back down and relax while I take care of it, okay? <sighs> Just hurry up.